The huge news are finally out. We're getting a new reserve in the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is gonna be a recap video of the most important bits and pieces of the live stream when we first got to see it. Let me introduce Pepe and TK. The Yukon Valley is what it's called, ladies and gentlemen, which is, of course, uh, loosely based off Alaska. Uh, well, not so loosely, but... Uh, and, um, yeah, here we go. So this is the starting uh, oh, like lodge. It's been snowing a little bit also. It has been. Look up at that in the hills we were there. Snowing. Yeah, so there's. We were waiting, sorry. Yeah, that's it. So there's um, a couple of new things about uh, this reserve. One mm -hmm. of them's the weather, isn't it? And yeah. um, it can go from nice green pastures uh, after a snow shower to be covered in snow as well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. you will, will probably see that actually as we go. You can see up on the hill there still actually it's still a little bit snowy. Absolutely amazing map. I've um, had a little bit of a, uh, a chance to fly around it myself today. Mm -hmm. We are in the Yukon River yes. Basin in the world. It yes. It's a pretty big area between um, Alaska and the Yukon Territories yes. in Canada. Uh, and those big mountains that we see turn around a little bit yeah there these ones here yeah. nice uh, that's the south of the map okay so, so it um, uh, kind of represents the alaska As alaskan range yes mountain range i got uh, you yeah so we're and above that and north of us will eventually become uh, the north pole so so just then we have a little bit of a bearing because alaska is uh, a huge um region in yeah. the US. Uh, um, so, should we get, I mean, we might as well go over the species list. Do you guys know yeah. that grey wolf are confirmed? Hang on, let me start again. Grey wolf, caribou, yeah. plains bison, uh -huh. harlequin duck, grizzly, grizzly, moose, and red fox. Seven animals. Yeah. I'm about to push a button that might is going to make a lot of people very happy, okay? Introducing uh, the Z300, the Canning 300. I'll go into the uh, the screen here for it. So there it is, and you can see it down the down the bottom of the uh, of the chat. The 300 Canning Magnum, um, and it comes with two different ammo types. It's got the polymer and the soft point. Um, I've put the Argus scope on it, um, just you know, because why, why not? not? Yeah. yeah, and this is the uh, this is this is the showstopper in my opinion. It's a pretty awesome weapon, yeah. and this comes with the with the uh, the uh, Yukon uh, DLC. So yes. But you still need to get the weapon score. Exactly, cetera, exactly. So Sorry, so yeah. it's not gonna. It's not a. F s it's freebie. not a given. No, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, yeah, if I'm, I can't, I can't watch and talk at the. You can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't watch and talk at the same time. I was gonna say something, but then I saw that you started aiming, etc. So <laughs> um, but uh, so yeah, we wanted to was to. Um, Make something with a little bit more, like the 338, uh, s bigger brother, pretty much, that isn't uh, necessarily like a killer of the 338. I mean, it's still Ooh. that's still a good good, yeah. good weapon. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Hang on. I just saw a little... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oy. There we have something. Oh damn! Is that the first. Is that the first? Um, That's the first caribou. Yeah, the first uh, freaking true rex caribou. It is indeed. In um, oh, there's the caribou finally oh yeah. showed up, just as uh, late to the party. Yeah. <laughs> People would rather what? have Alaskan turkey. Alaskan turkey? <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss that? Uh. S I think ptarmigans would be cool on on. Oh, it is. You know, there'll be some classic fans in the game and here and going. And late on as well, and um. there'll be some uh, classic fans in here not loving that suggestion, of Pepe. <laughs> no release date yet, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. No release date. Uh, but it. I mean, it is uh, as you can see, pretty far um, along. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've been working on it since um, it's not for a few there months there. now. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty much ready. I would say it like that. Yep, there we go. So very soon. Yeah. Look at these. There's, there's some beautiful antlers. I really like those, actually. They're really nice. Yeah. And uh, there's a, a absolutely huge different uh, variation. Oh, yeah, we see the shooting. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, so here we go. Here's the uh, the antlers for it. She might be better to go this way this time, just to see them. It was in a uh, interesting uh, pose. There, I'm liking. I'm liking. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this area here, Pepe, what is? Uh, um, s well, it's, it's a little bit uh, greener. Yes. Than is even if it's snowing. Yeah. Um, it is. Um, yeah, the boreal wetlands is a kind of big type of. Um, um, not climate, but like a s type of region where you would, uh, you know, probably find uh, moose. Yes. Uh, so this is probably a good uh, place for uh, moose hunting. Yes. Uh, there is some um, structures here, as we can see, uh, a lot of water, so it's going to be a lot of drinking sounds. Yes. Uh, it is the most uh, biodiverse uh, area in real life. Okay. And I would probably say perhaps here as well uh, in terms of like what species can be here, etc. Yep. Um, it is a pretty uh, nice... So there's a, ch there's a nice chance to find place. a lot of different areas, uh, animals in this area. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. And yeah. I think mostly because of because of the water, etc. It, it, it will be uh, a good place for that. Yep, I gotcha. Uh, yeah, and as we can see, there's, I mean, there's some cover, so you could do this, like, sneak between uh, these little, like, patches of trees, yes. uh, if you have a bow or crossbow, uh, and then, of course, you can uh, use the long-range weapons. Uh, yeah, across the nice big open areas. Yeah, it's very different compared to the, the deep forest that we were in just uh, just now. I really want to see a grizzly bear. I haven't actually seen a grizzly bear in game. I've yeah, seen, I've seen the model. We're, uh, I mean, we can go to the the areas where the grizzly areas. Yeah, get your uh, note, your, your notebook out, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Paper's about to give us I some uh, some, <laughs> some grizzly bear zones. Yeah, of course. Uh, so this valley here will be a little bit more uh, grizzly bears. I gotcha. Um, I gotcha. Sort of in the water, around the waterways, and things yeah. like that. You know, we'll just show a bit more of the map off and <coughs> stuff like that, and hopefully we can run across some other animals on the way. Um, hopefully we can actually find some, uh, get up nice and close. Oh, here we go, look at this. So, uh... Bison chilling. Yeah, look at that. Uh, so that's very nice. Oh yeah. The, uh, the fur and stuff on that is really amazing, actually. So this is the Plains Bison. Um, as you can see, it's, I think they're bigger than the European bison, aren't they? I mean, probably. Putting you on the spot here. <laughs> Sorry, Pepe. No, that's all right. That's, that's my understanding of them anyway. Oh, the horns just uh -huh. grew, and shrunk, grew and shrunk a little bit there. Um, but yeah, beautiful. We'll try and find some, uh, some different ones. Yeah. Up into the snow line, through the hills. Yeah, let's, far let's away. go, let's go up here. I mean, we. S oh, I look we at this. Look, look how the. Sorry, I'm just yeah. going to stop. Look how the. Uh, like, mm -hmm. so nice and lush and green, kind of through the thick forest. And then uh, the trees start to thin out. And then it sort of gets more and more open as you come up. That's beautiful. And as the snow melts, uh, oh. this area will become more and more uh, red. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Look at those colors. That's amazing. It's going to be some great. Uh, Great screenshots come from the community, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, up on top of the hills here, Pepe, what are people likely to find animal-wise? Uh, probably caribou. Okay, yeah. Um, some more bison. Yep. Uh, moose. Red yep. fox is all over the map. Yep. There we have a caribou, right? Yeah. Um, Eaton. Eaton. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's... And, and uh, yeah, wolves. And wolves up here too? Yeah. Nice. This is the size of the map. Mm -hmm. And um, scale-wise, what's what sort of size is it roughly uh, compared I to? I mean, it, it's um, what our maps yep. always is. Yep, it's so there we uh, go. 16 by 16 kilometers. There we go, yeah. And the uh, the kind of highlighted area that we see here yes. is uh, 8 by 8 kilometers, yes. which is uh, pretty much your playable yep. area with yep. the... Um, uh, with some lakes, so we can deduct a little bit of uh, area for that. I gotcha. Uh, well, should we shoot this 
Or, well, but it's nor nor smaller nor larger than than the median map size of of what we currently have. Okay. Um, Just put a couple into it to uh, make sure that it does the job, the jobby. Uh, oh yeah, here here we have a good look over the. Um, I like. I was just the, I the this northern view. areas. Yeah. Because uh, uh, remember the southern ones had those big hills. Like you can just see one of the tips there, yeah. right? And so here's the north, the north. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so it's got a uh, also a little bit uh, thick forest, good yes. for tree stands. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it has uh, I think it's wolves that are like the primary um, your your primary predator yep in gotcha in those yep. uh, woods so and it, it's it's a uh, perhaps we will have to I mean we can free fly there to just uh, show how different that yeah. area is to this one I think this might be this might be the f the the map that has like most Different little one. regions. Nice petals on it. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go and have a little bit closer look to them, like we said we promised we would in in action. So yes. look at that, the thick boys, <laughs> nice and uh, nice and f well fed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful fur on them. Look at that. Yeah. But nice. uh, yeah, the the kind of valley that you're we're looking into here. This yes. is where the grizzly territory. Okay, so maybe we can uh, out. maybe we can have a little bit of a uh, oh, there's uh, a moose in the water, is it? Yep. Let's see if we can. Uh, sip. Oops, I have to uh, ask for some uh, smoother camera tools. I think for the showing you guys the stuff. So, do you think this is our best bet of finding a grizzly? Just sort of scouring the uh, yeah, water. I, mean I think they're gonna be in here in the in the forest. Oh, in the forest, yeah, rather. Yeah. Or, or I mean, perhaps they're drinking or or. Chilling somewhere, but gotcha. Uh, this would be a good place to find one. Yeah, I've got him. Reinders. So yeah, some more caribou. Look, here we go. So this is a good uh, group of them to have a look at the different antlers yeah. on them. Oh, look at that little cute one. Yeah. Here's a little cutie. <laughs> if we have a look at the snow here, uh, and you look at those snow patches here on this side, yeah, and then you compare it. That's right. The one, yeah. Yeah. You can kind of see that there's more snow on that side, so it. I gotcha. Uh, all the angles that the sun hits. Oh, it's It's gonna have less snow, so it's. I gotcha. Uh, <gasps> uh, which was uh, there we have him. Sitting Look at that one. Look at that nice face on him. Just waiting for. Waiting for lunch. Yeah. Waiting for a human. So the grizzly bear, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Look what a what a cute little teddy bear. Yeah, but those like past though. I know man. <laughs> look how huge actually yeah, look how big those are. Here we can kinda see oh. how this wha how this fire Oh that's awesome, Pepe. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this. This is really cool. And um very uh I guess uh what do I say? Different. Realistic because well because yeah. like you know, well, there's a lot of forest fires these days. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm sure there's big patches of uh, Alaska that are affected by it. So oh, look what I found. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the grey wolf. Oh, it's sleepy o'clock for the grey wolf too. I'm just trying to get a little bit closer. Very nice. So, um, what can we tell you about these? So these have got a uh, even a new system, don't they? Uh, over the line, so they've got a confrontation mode. So they hunt in packs. Uh, and they'll also hunt the player in packs. I do understand. Yeah. Um, and they so they move on a line. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and they've got they got proper pack behaviour. Yeah. Uh, as the uh, the way to talk about it. This one, nice uh, sort of ready coloured one. Look at these, beautiful. I think we should have um, I should have turned the track track uh, outlines off. They're just snogging there. Yeah, next to each other. Whoop. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the fur on them are amazing, and they around the collars. No, he's a cute boy. Give me a little scratch behind the ear. So yeah, very nice. And uh, I'm uh, going to be looking forward to uh, the many many stories and tales I see out there about these wolf. That's for sure. They're um, 
Yeah, they will provide some uh, entertainment and some hunting challenges. Yeah, and uh, for I hope... So. Uh, for sure. Yeah, you, you're not for the sure only so. one out here hunting is all I'm going to say. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and it, it's, it feels very special when you start, when you hear them start uh, howling and then other picks up and, you know, you're... It goes from being a nice little evening to yes. to feeling uh, a bit scary. Yeah, yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are they? They're all around me. No, it's beautiful. Quackers. Yeah, here we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh. Harlequin Duck. Thank you very much for reminding me. We saw them at the start, and uh, they completely slipped my brain again. So, well, now we're a fish. They have a little like beeping sound almost oh, i don't yeah. know why it's not i oh, like beep 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 yeah beep. i so mean they, they don't quack i'll they do they it for you beep 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 beep, 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 beep. awesome coloring on it eh? yeah really nice i'd never s uh, heard of these ducks actually before either um uh, before you guys put the map together like that yeah nice work such good detail in all the feathering eh i know amazing <laughs> It's gonna be good for the the little stands in um, in the trophy lodge. That's it. Let's you know, let's get back down on the ground here quickly. I just got to show you know we'll go over the uh, three hundred and stuff like that too. So oh yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what am I doing? Here we go. So it comes with two different variations too. So there's the uh, I guess it's a carbon. Uh, they've both got the same name actually at the moment. So. Oh yeah, yeah, one is. Um, well, yeah, one one's got like a the nice wooden finish to it, yeah. and the other one has a nice carbon uh, stock to it. So, they come with this uh, this reserve. Um, of course, you need the rifle skill to be able to unlock mm -hmm. them, but they're really great rifles, amazing. Um, we have no release date yet for the map, um, but yeah. Um, it's pretty damn awesome. Yeah. And that is actually where I'm gonna end this because uh, this is where the live stream pretty much ends. I hope that this little recap, which turned out to be a lot longer than I initially wanted it to be, made you get an idea of what we're getting in the Hunter Call of the Wild in the near future. Guys, I am excited. I hope you are as well. Thank you so very much for watching.